Hi guys. I don't know yet. I'm gonna do a live real quick, baby babe. Hello. Who is he? Hello. You are so dear. <laughs> I'm gonna scare everybody away. <laughs> You're gonna pop on and be like, what the fuck is this bitch thinking about? Hi everybody. How you guys doing? I just wanted to give a little life update. I have been, I think, abroad for almost two months now. Um, and today is our last full day away out of the country. Um, I started off my trip uh, headed to North Africa and Tunisia, and I started like a teaching tour basically. First, we started going on a two week cruise from Florida to California, and then we went to Coachella. And then we had like three days home and went straight to North, Af or, yeah, North Africa. So we went to Tunisia, then we headed over to Europe. We went to Paris, Tourcoing, uh, then we flew over to Bulgaria, and then we were, I think we were in the capital in Sofia, and then we went to Switzerland, we went to Geneva and Neuchâtel, and then we ended in Lille, no, Baby, where was the last place in France we ended? Oh, Ancy. That's where we ended. So we got to see like all of France this last time. Added in two places in Switzerland. Had the best chocolate of my life. And <laughs> then we also saw Bulgaria too. From there, I flew to Japan. And it's always been a dream of my brother and my... Me. Brother and me. My, my brother and I. It's always been our dream to go to Japan. We're big anime nerds, especially him. And also he's taken a lot of like anime history classes and courses in college. So he was never asked me to ever go anywhere, but he's like, if you ever go to Japan, you have to take me. So I surprised him for an early birthday present and we I met him over in Japan and we stayed there for two weeks. The first week we were traveling and just touring and had the best host ever, Nika. She's like, family now she's literally the best human ever i'm just very fortunate i feel like the more i focus on like being my this is gonna get like all uh spokesperson on you not even spokesperson but like promoter i guess or healer <laughs> i don't know but basically i just think that like the more i focus on myself the more good people i attract and the more good experience I attract, you know, like that saying of what, um, and I just feel like I have been so blessed with everybody that I've met while traveling, like all the hosts and everybody, and especially this, this, our, our, our Japan leader, our Japan guide, our Japan everything, Nika, she took care of us and she treated us like family, took care of my brother, and yeah so i just feel very 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 grateful to have met all the people that i have amongst like upon traveling the world basically and uh when i went to japan Lido flew to cape town because he filmed escape room 2 over here so he's been talking about it for forever and so then i met him over here and i've been here for about a week and a half but to, i think two weeks almost and then we leave tomorrow so it's so sad Luckily though, Lido and I get a fly uh, from Cape Town to the States together and then our last flight is when we separate and I go home to Utah because my family has been watching my baby Moki for six months now since Christmas. So it's time to get him and take him back home so he can be with the other two crazy animals, my Bambino and JC. So yeah, that's a little life update. But um, yeah, we're here in Cape Town. It has been beautiful. I haven't been on my phone as much because I feel like after the crazy months of traveling, I kind of needed one place just to be like a relaxation place to decompress. I feel like I'm very social and I can talk to anybody, but I also really love my alone time and, and being with my man by myself and kind of, you know, not having to socialize as much. So 
yeah i just i wanted to just take a break while i was over here so that's why i feel like i need to update you guys and yeah sorry now i will look at your comments i was just giving my life update <laughs> Uh, thank you guys and thank you to everybody who's on here that came to my classes for real it's it's still pretty crazy that what I love to do can take me so many different places to experience so many different parts of the world and so many different people and like I said before like when you work on yourself you really attract amazing people and I I feel that wholeheartedly with everybody who comes to take my class and anybody who comes on our trova trips or things like that like man everybody was just so amazing and so beautiful and i feel like i was meant to meet every single person that i did and dance with every single person that i did because i still learn a lot from the people who take my class i still view myself as a student as somebody who needs to keep improving in my craft so i never think i'm too good or like even being a choreographer or a teacher is still like crazy to me because i still feel like a student so yeah it's just really an honor so thank you to everybody who came and took my class I wouldn't be able to be doing this without people like you so I really appreciate it <laughs> oh yes I want to come to Brazil too definitely I am good I feel like I'm finally like starting to rest up after not knowing what day or time it is <laughs> uh thank you thank you Bulgaria all my people over there I would love to come back to Tunisia, so I'm hoping that uh, the host over there liked me, loved me, and I really tried to, like, not just go there to teach. I tried to, you know, really give each event my all. Like, if there's multiple teachers, I love to take everybody's class as well. Just to, like, not only because I love it and I want to do it selfishly, but also because I want the students and people around to see that, like, I understand how tiring it can be and if I'm in the room still pushing myself so can you so I hope that they like liked me and they want me back but you never know hi Sweden <laughs> hello Brazil oh Morocco would be sick I would love to go there Yes, Step Up did get cancelled, but it is all good. It was a great show, but I think our last season kind of took the show in a different direction that wasn't authentic to what it was supposed to be. It wasn't going in a direction I personally loved either, at least with my character, so I'm okay with it. I think all good things must come to an end and open you up for different opportunities and that's just what I want I want to book something else so keep praying for me keep rooting for me that I can book another show and you guys can see me on TV again what's in my hair near my left ear I don't know it's just my hair I don't think there's anything in it you guys got me tripping now <laughs> Oh, but I'm definitely coming back to Cape Town and hopefully next time I'll teach and see more of South Africa because we've only been in basically one area this whole time. Ooh, they want to hear about the food. Okay, listen here. The food has gone crazy. I would say that the best food personally was in Japan um, just because I, I felt so fresh there, even though I was eating a lot more rice than I normally do. I think there's a, something about rice that the rest of, like, the white, white people aren't knowing about, because I feel like <laughs> every other ethnicity and culture has rice in their dis dishes, and it is, mm. but they have, like, kimchi and a lot of probiotic foods, so even though you're, like, eating probably more carbs than I would in the U.S., like, I felt so healthy and clean, because, you know, everything's grown there. It's not shoved up with all this bull crap we'd be doing over in the state. <laughs> uh, but the food was fire. And everywhere I went, like, and everything was super different, too. Bulgaria has different food. We went to this beautiful, beautiful, like, gosh, it must have been a five-star restaurant. Because the food I had was just slapping. Um, in Switzerland, we went to this bomb steakhouse. We had the fondue and had the cheese um paris we had a lot of bread pastas 
all that jazz, um, some good burgers too, and Japan I had a lot of sushi, ramen, all of it. It was just, it's just it. And then over here in Cape Town, I think we've gotten the same thing almost every day. There's this place called Mojo Market and it is the best. It has music live all the time, has all these different restaurants inside this like complex and we get like poke bowls every day. Is it, somebody said it was poke and this was like somebody that is from Hawaii and actually knows poke bowls. But I feel like we call it pokey bowls. I don't know which, which is right, but people always look at me like I'm stupid. Okay, I'm back to answering questions. I'm sorry. I have been to Greece and I was supposed to come a couple times back, but hopefully I will get to go soon. Um, I want to go to Santorini so bad. I want to see that part and just live my life. I haven't been to India to have the best Indian food, but I like Indian food. Tunisian food was good too. It slapped. Yeah. Slapped is a good thing, by the way. <laughs> Carlito's working on teaching me Spanish. Don't worry. Shangyo Frey. I'm sending you all the love in the world. Know that you are important and you have purpose and you are loved. If you don't feel like it, the man upstairs always loves you. If you don't believe in that, I'm sending you so much love. And don't ever underestimate the whole, the ab yeah, the whole that your presence will leave. So you are, you're loved and know that you should always be here and try to fight for that happiness because unfortunately, all of us go through bad things. All of us have different stories. There's no comparison between other people's issues or trials or tribulations. But know that you're not alone in the feelings that you're feeling. And also know that happiness is a choice. And it's not the easiest of choices. You have to choose it every day. You have to choose love every day. And the more you choose it every day, the easier it becomes. So that's all I can tell you for now. Where's the favorite place I've been? It's still Costa Rica or Amsterdam. I just had a really good time in Amsterdam. I just thought it was really cool, but I don't know if I'd want to live there, but Japan, Costa Rica, Amsterdam. But I want to live in Costa Rica, <laughs> like ASAP. I have been to Italy. It was beautiful, but I haven't seen like much of it. Good wine. I do like wine, but it's just a little too late for the explorations. Yay. Um, I worked with a lot of great choreographers, so I wouldn't say there's like one that is the best. Um, you guys, August, I believe, 1st is the last day you guys can book your spot to Costa Rica. Because we're going back at the end of September. I believe it's September 22nd. No, 21st through the 28th, I believe. Um, and if you think I'm a cool person, if you think you want to go see the world and be with a group of people that are going to hype you up and just be down for adventure. Seriously, book your spot now. I'm going to post a link on my story after this live um, because we're nearing the end of being able to come on this adventure with us. And for real, it's going to be amazing. We're going to do a different uh, itinerary than the first time we went to Costa Rica. So we get to see a different part and then it's going to be beaches gonna be hangout sessions and you actually get to know us like we're, we're together most of the day we travel on a bus together to different spots we have an amazing tour guide Kata who was our tour guide last time and she's like Tomb Raider in real life and she knows her shit she's lived so many different lives she's fearless full of love and it just makes the trip so much more amazing when you're like getting to know the different laws or what how these plants grow here you just are more immersed in the culture and have somebody to like appropriately 
inform you and it won't just be us so it's not just me and Lido acting like deer in headlights leading you guys around Costa Rica no we've got a professional with us and that just makes it so much easier to have a good time to chill with us and I'm being serious like it's the best trip ever I I've been on many trips myself and it's not because I'm hosting it or anything I like cried the last time on our Costa Rica trip because I was just so grateful for the people that came and for the experience I was having. It's just so magical over there. It has such a healing and loving energy as a whole, as a country, as people. And I would just suggest anybody to go there, even if it's not with us, but it's going to be the best time ever. We have seven days and all the, the, um, what is it called? All the activities are included in the price. So everything will be taken care of. We'll never have to wonder what we're doing or wander around. So if you're feeling like, oh, I'm too afraid to travel by myself, like this is the way to go. We are great ass people. Don't worry. We are going to take care of you, make you feel loved and hopefully become good friends and stay in touch and cheer each other on through social media and hopefully go on more vacations. But please, 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 please come. We have 12 spots left. Um, almost less than two months to book your spot. And there are payment plans. So you can set up your payment plan for 6, 12, or 18 months. So you don't have to pay it all up front. It, has, it can be over time, over six months, over a year, over a year and a half. So if it feels like it's a too big of a lump sum, you can spread it out and pay it over time. So... Yeah, come to Costa Rica with us. We're going on vacation September 21st through the 28th. Right, baby? Yes. Come here, you sexy man. Okay. He's in my the Coachella outfit I got him for pajama day. Ooh. The pajamas? Huh? Yeah, the pajamas. Yeah. Look at his fine ass. I also I got, got him this in Japan. I had the lady make it for him. It has tiger's eye, which is his stone. It has jade in between it. And then it has this cool little Chinese-Japanese dragon. It was a Chinese lady that lived in Japan. So she made it and she has inspiration from there. Oh, where did you come from? It's fire. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I appreciate it. I wrote it for her. Yeah. Um, It's a beautiful, beautiful song that it means a lot to me. And I made the beat at the new house that we moved into together. Um, and you know, it was, I, I spent quite some time on it and I fell in love with it and I didn't end up writing to it till like maybe a month or two later. But when it happened, I knew that it was going to be about this one because she loved that beat too. She's actually yeah. part of the reason so why I chose that beat. you guys don't understand like the work that goes, I think you might think you understand the work that goes into music and creating a song. But when you watch somebody do it from scratch and like create the beat as well, like he doesn't just choose a, a basic beat or like put together a phrase of sounds and it's already put together or use the same sound package that has basically all the things that harmonize he creates it from scratch like he uses different sounds and it's crazy the overlay the time that it takes for him to make these beats and yes i freaking love this one he has like stacks on stacks on stacks of beats that aren't released yet so if you need a beat for a song you know where to go because he's also selling beats absolutely but you guys, you guys, I just feel like people are sleeping on my baby. And it's not just because he's my baby. It's because he's actually the shit. Like, you don't understand how much talent you have to have to be able to create a beat, produce it, write it, and sing it all by yourself, all in your home. Like, it, it's beautiful to watch. Not only is it, like, insane that I had somebody write me a song, it's, it's, it's more then words can say how beautiful and special it makes me feel. And to hear the song that he wrote is just even more beautiful. And ah, oh, there's another song that I can't wait for you guys to hear as well. And that one's around me too. Yes. Right now there's only, what, three songs out about me? Yes, yes. Not out, uh, three songs three to songs come. That I, wrote. I yes. mean, one song is out now. But this is the first, like, lovey song he's ever sang because it's usually like, Fuck bitches, get money, drugs, yeah. smoke a weed, all yeah, this shit. Basically. And then this one was just happy and full of love. So 
really go support him. It's called Where Did You Come From? Yeah. Uh, ladies. She danced to it. I and, did. And that's why I love you so much too, baby, because sometimes you'll get like a, you know, and, and I find it admirable. You'll get a, a boyfriend that does music, whether he's a rapper or whether he's a singer. And uh, sometimes his music will be good or sometimes his music won't be good. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But the girl is always so supportive and they're always there and, you know, pushing their man's stuff. But sometimes they feel like they do it because they have to. Um, no, I want to. And no, she does it from the bottom of her heart and she choreographs to my songs. I don't even ask her to do it. She just does it out of nowhere. And it, you know, it melts my heart that you do that, my you love. Yeah, baby. I'm your biggest fan. I mean, I'm not, I loved your shit before we were together. I love it now even more. Yeah. Yeah. We got a, uh, there's no music video for it yet, but we're going to we'll make one. Yeah. Um, but also another note for my ladies, you're going to love this song because we all love love songs. I was telling him this. I was like, babe, this is perfect. Like every girl likes to hear music that they would want sung about them. And the way that you sing this and phrase it and word it is how every girl wants to feel. So like already knowing that one you are singing about it so it makes it real but two you actually have a relationship that that is admirable and that you're actually that guy that's singing you're not just singing just to like attract certain people mm -hmm. like it just means so much more and it means that love is possible in the right way and people think that we're too much which is totally fine because we are a lot but that's just why we're perfect for each other yeah. but also when you get to experience, we're just so loud and proud. This is what it is. We're loud and proud about it because a lot of people have lost hope. And I think we even lost hope in uh, finding something that's like comparable to true love. You know what I mean? Like we all find love and we're in love, but there's certain things that we're sacrificing on, whether it's like, oh, we love each other. The, you know, the physicality is great, but I need to go hang out with my girlfriends to get away from him or he needs to go hang out with his guy friends to get away. No, like, this is really my person. Like, I could be every day with him and never get sick of him. And it's possible because I was the pickiest motherfucker in the world, you guys. I am, like, beyond picky. I had too many standards. That's why you guys never saw me post about a dude. It's ha It can happen. So just keep your standards high. Keep looking for love and be open for it. But number one thing to be able to attract that right person is to start working on yourself. Mm -hmm. Instead of like chasing love and thinking that's going to make you better, focus on yourself. Focus on the type of love that you give everybody, that you give yourself. And then it just happens. It pops up. And everyone's story is different, but it will happen. Yes. And if I could keep my hands to myself, ladies and gentlemen, I would. But I can't. Yeah. I'm just, this is the way I kind of show my love and my everyone's affection. Using, and she's good as hands Oh, but, my butt. But I was grabbing him like... If his hand isn't on my ass, then there's a problem. Let me tell you, she gets pissed if she walks past me and I don't smack yeah, her I'm ass. Like, That's how problem? she knows I'm in a bad mood. Like, she goes, what's, okay? what's, what's, what's going on with you? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> you didn't grab my ass? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just telling you. Um, but also, too, you know, uh, it's, it's good to know um, that the person you're with is just as obsessed with you as you are with them. You know, they always say there's always going to be one person who's going to love more than the other. And that might be true, right? But if both of you love each other so fucking much that you're just up here, then it doesn't matter who's the one that loves the most or loves the least because both of you are overachieving for each other. And shit's going to be shit's gonna be different sometimes when you run into those bumpy roads. But shit, I'd rather spend my time, you know, figuring shit out and going through turmoil with her. And that's how it should be. Everyone's like, give her a ring already. Let's just let's just clear this up, you guys. I we're this is gonna happen. It's it's inevitable. Yes. So for us, there is no time limit on it because we already act as if we are married. We so we already are married. It, That's just a ring isn't gonna is. do do anything. Yeah. So when the time is right, that will be right. So yes. No yes. needing to say. Do it now. Why haven't you? Because we're living our lives. Yes, we're yes. doing what we want. And, and that, it's going to happen anyways. And we so could decide good. if we wanted to go in and literally just elope tomorrow. But we want to, you know, we want to do it right and, and, and yeah, the right do. place and have our family come and everything. And at the same time, while trying to be successful actors, right when you get the time to do it, you book a job and then it takes you away for nine months, five months, six months. Um, so it's one of those things where when it's going to happen, it's going to happen in the right time. Yeah, and we want.
want we want to like feel good about it. Nothing like good about like getting married and being like, fuck no, we have to like save a bunch of money or not have a wedding that we want. We want to feel right in the right place, book booked McGee's, book booked and blessed, doing te- television series and all this shit, so we can just have the best wedding ever and fly all of our family out if we want to go somewhere else. Yes. Did our love start from high water? <laughs> it did. Yes, yes. Our love has started from high water. <laughs> yes, it did. Y'all need to come to Chicago. I know he's from Chicago, so I've never been with him. Yeah, we gotta go, baby. Come on. I've seen his house, though. You've been there. Yeah, but like for a, but I wasn't a day. There. <laughs> okay, any other questions or anything baby do you have anything to say about them coming to freaking costa rica yeah guys please come to costa rica now i know what it is you guys are watching this live and you're like yo if you told me this a little bit sooner which we did yeah we did you might have been able to come it's still not too late honestly because i know what you're thinking oh okay i gotta come up with all the money right now no if you do the payment plan which is literally like the same plan that you would do as if you were uh, getting cable, where it's a monthly. Yeah, like or a Disney pay, thing. You pay you every other month. Annually, yes. Or you can do a monthly, which yes. breaks it up. So basically, you'll have an entire year to pay this trip off. So you would pay the, the deposit fee, which I think is like $500. And they, then you would have the rest of the year to note, pay it off. I wish we had an OnlyFans. They're like, do you have an OnlyFans? Yeah, y'all you wish, wouldn't you wish. be able to pay enough. I swear, it's disrespectful. You would not even be able to have that. It was. Ugh. It's not. It was just not in. It's not in the cards for the general public. We have our own OnlyFans. That yeah, only, ourselves. Only we can. We're see. the only fans. Yes, yes. <laughs> but yes, keep going. Sorry, that was just yeah, a we, funny we comment. We have our moments. We're like, damn, babe. If we had an OnlyFans, we would bank. Yeah, but <laughs> we don't need to do that. <laughs> anyway, um, but yes, um. Please, you know, sign up and come to Costa Rica with us. Uh, the last trip was all girls. It no, was all girls and we, one guy. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I, I'm saying this because most girls are like, I'm afraid to yes. travel alone. And that's and everybody said that. Yes. All the and girls, all were, these like, girls we were came so alone. nervous. But you're completely taken care of. From the moment you land the plane, there is a shuttle to take you to the hotel. And then once you're at the hotel with us, you're with us the entire time. We take care of you if we need groceries along the way. If somebody gets a cut or something, we go take you to the emergency room. Whatever. Like, yes. Literally, you're so taken care of, it's not even funny. We barely have to do anything other than show you guys moral support and get to know you. So it's just like the best best type of trip to like relax while being with new people and i think that's a really hard thing to do to travel with like people you don't know and Mm -hmm. feel relaxed and feel like it's not stressful yes but i think it just organically happens every time that the right people come we have a lot of people from the first trip coming again yes it was just that beautiful and like i think the reason we we push it so much is because every single person on the trip was like man if the world knew how amazing like this trip was and being able to connect with people and especially from people from all over the world like that's so special because we don't get to do that we we have dance classes and as much as I can make it personal I don't get to know you guys I don't get to talk to you or anything this is an opportunity where we can actually get to know each other yeah and you can be on ask vacation for an entire week together in Costa have, Rica you have for us or like relationship things or even just like personal things chasing your dream things dance questions music questions acting questions it's just a it's somewhere you can actually get our, our most authentic selves I guess and you can hopefully grow spiritually or love yourself even more after it because when you're surrounded by people who are only promoting that you're gonna feel so incredible after leaving a moment like that and it Mm -hmm. can inspire the rest of your life to change and love for the better yes we join you on all the activities like literally i feel like the only time him and i had by ourselves were when we were sleeping yeah that's it or when you go back to your room to change for like 20 minutes to go to the next activity. Your yes, because there's like three, four activities booked. each day. There's no time for you to yeah, not have you fun. You wake up, you have breakfast together. Breakfast is usually included at all the hotels, and it's fire. Like, literally, the cooking over there is banging. And if there isn't a, isn't a food on the itinerary, uh, Kata will take us out to, like, local restaurants that are, like, that are fire. 
like you we have a great time no matter what and you're so taken care of you're never alone or feeling alone and if there's anything you need help with we're right there we're literally rooms down we're all staying at the same hotel it's it's very personal it's not bougie we're not up there acting like we're celebrities we're completely normal human beings who want to share this opportunity of seeing the world and traveling the world with you guys as well but yeah okay so well, a year I'm, yeah. you have an entire year to pay it off or a year and a half no it's only a year now because a year and a half was at the beginning no, of the wait, year you, six you months start ago when you pay really yeah your your payment really? plan starts when you pay so oh shit that's even better so if yeah. you you just have to choose the payment you got to choose which payment plan because if you don't choose the payment plan you're gonna have to pay it off within like three months yeah but yeah guys that's amazing ah that makes it even this better this is a trip for dancers because one i'm not going to be teaching a formal dance class but trust me, we're going to be dancing on the beach, vibing out. Yes. And if I get the opportunity to, I can teach something super simple on the beach. What? No, I'm just reading. You can keep talking. No, but like I, I'm totally down to teach a dance class. I didn't get to it last time on our last trip. So that's why I wanted to like maybe do something set aside. It's not going to be on the activity list, but set aside a time that we're not busy and go to the beach, dance. If that's something you want to do, if not, go get a drink while we're dancing it up. Yes. It's this trip for beginners. It's I for mean, everybody. yeah, it's for everybody. It's for everybody. It's so much. You don't even have to have dance experience to come. No. It's yeah. not a dance trip. It's, it's not. We'll have dance if it's something you want to have and if it's something you want to know or do. It's a vacation with your favorite dancer and favorite artist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys can... I'm going to post the link for the, the trip. I'm going to change it to my bio. Uh, right now is my Fuego Shoes. A collaboration that um, I made this shoe from scratch with my brother. My brother helped me design it completely. Um, he doesn't get the credit he deserves on that because he really did a lot. I was Idea Girl and he made it come into fruition and made my shoe exactly how I wanted it and like made it so dope. So shout out to Fam, Fam Jagershnoff uh, yeah. for being yeah, yeah. my art artistic shoe guy um, that really designed the hell out of the shoes. and. So I'm going to change that link in my bio, but if you guys want my shoes, which you do, they're made from recycled plastic bottles. They got a little jade stone on it, and they're comfy AF. So I'm going to change that link in the bio, but it, it is still there if you guys want to go over and get some shoes right now. But I'm going to change that to the Trova Trip link, and I'm also going to post it on my story right after this. So if you guys want to just check it out, if you, you don't have to book it when you click the link. You can check it out, see the itinerary, see all the days, see everything that it includes which is basically everything except for flights. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's going to be another trip of a lifetime. And I just don't want to have to like post about it and everyone be like, dang, I didn't know this looks so fun. Well, freak, yeah, it was fun. Like I told you guys it's about amazing. it and we've done one already. So you can trust us that it's going to be amazing. Yes, yes. So please come, especially all the people that we just recently met in Europe and in, in, in Tunisia, yes. all throughout Europe and, and Bulgaria, yes. my Switzerland friends, everybody that I met, if you thought that we were cool in person, we're even cooler on vacation. Yes. <laughs> Way cooler. I know I would love to come to London again. So if there are any London studios wanting me to come teach, hit me in the, the email in my bio. Okay, you guys. You can now ask us random other questions because yes. we're going to end this soon. So yes. if you have a question that's unrelated from anything we've been talking about, go ahead. I saw ahead. one question that I remember. Oh, how many spaces are left to join? 12. There's 12 spots. 12 spots. So there's more than enough. More than enough. So please come. Yeah. Um, randomly, there was a person. How would you, any advice to becoming an artist in today's time that's so oversaturated? Just keep dropping music, my dear. Keep dropping music. There's so many mu so many songs that get dropped daily. And the only way to combat that is to build a fan base of people that genuinely, genuinely like your stuff. Um, don't focus on the lack of streams or the lack of views that you get on a song. Just, um, just go about it with the intent of you wanting to do great music. And eventually, you'll have people showing up for your shows and downloading your shows. It, even if you get a thousand streams, that's that's a that's a really good yeah, amount of streams. Everybody starts that's, everywhere. Imagine a thousand people standing right in front of you saying they heard your song. That's an army of people. So you and got this. Like anything, like the more you do it, the more it's gonna get easier and easier to make it. Like the more music you put out, the more it's gonna work out. Same with dance. The more videos you put out, the more you train, 
the more you're going to get out of it. Yes. Lizzie won one and only. <laughs> one and only. Um, she says, is it crazy that a 40-year-old widow would like to come? You've always wanted to learn dance, but you're afraid. No, it's not crazy. It's not crazy. We have had an older gentleman come. There's also another uh, older lady coming this time, too. Yes, yes, and they um, all come by themselves. And, yeah, it doesn't matter. Age is not... Uh, age is yes. but a number, baby. Yes, yes. Uh, for real, we have a good time, and it just makes you feel young and like you can explore the world. There is never a time to tap out on that. You're never too old for anything, and especially not for us. We're good company to all, to younger and to older. Mm -hmm. You do have to be over 18 to book this just because it's an abroad travel, but yes. we'd love for you to come. Absolutely. Please do. Ah, uh, good to meet you at Mojo, too. Hey. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, Nova. We got, hey. we got no Novito. Novito. <laughs> uh, there is going to be no more seasons of high water. It is done. Yes. But it was a good run. It was a it good was run. It was a great run. We wouldn't have been... We would have found each other, but yes, maybe yes. not as soon. I'm scrolling through. How old are we both? I'm 24. I'm 33. Yeah. Trying to stay as young as possible. Mm, sexy man. Mm. Uh, how often did I train as a kid? Um, if I'm going to be completely honest, uh, every day after school, I would train from like 5 p.m. until 10 to 11 p.m. Every night, every day. And then on the weekends, it was even longer than that. Once I started going to L.A., I took like five classes a day. Um... I don't think you can train too much. Uh, if you have the opportunity to practice your craft as much as you can, practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the more you can chill out later on. <laughs> ASAP, A E A R O. Uh, uh, love, uh, love to Seattle, and thank you so much for for watching, bro. And thank you, man. I'm. I know to... he killed it in Escape Room. If you guys not have seen Escape Room too. You need to watch it because my baby be fine as fuck calling his wife. I'm just going to say that was me because they never established her. <laughs> so he was calling me. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I'm just trying to build this range up as much as possible. I want to be the sad guy, the funny guy, the tough guy, the everything, and just be continue to be a, a great actor as much as I can. Our Thank families you. haven't met in person. I think actually, though, my, my mom and grandma might have met your parents when they came to step up one time Ooh, in passing. Know. I don't Maybe know. Maybe just Dylan then. I think just maybe Dylan. Uh, but not in person yet, but they have met. Yes. Thank you for the support since I was 14. I appreciate it. Yes. Favorite song or genre of music to dance to? I personally like, like R&B with a nice beat behind it. Because I like to incorporate like emotions and feelings that kind of come from contemporary, but spice it up by adding in all the styles that I've trained in, which is hip hop, tap, everything. I just like to basically mush it all together and make it into one thing. Yes. Yeah, we're going to work on a YouTube channel. He wants me to do it by myself, but I feel like we'd be more fun together. Yes, I mean, I, we're, we're definitely going to do one together because she's got, uh, we both got YouTube channels. Yes. She's got one as well. But we I've did, just I been trying stuck. to get her to do vlogs, you know, because yeah. I know everybody when you you want you want to watch her dance. And yes, you can watch her dance. The same videos that she posts on her Instagram will be on YouTube as well. But you want to see the behind the scenes of what she was going through that day before she got to dance class, you know, and she's never been a vlogger. Um, I've been vlogging for some time. I need to get back on it. But um, I'm trying to get her to be on it first. So that way we can both promote the new channel that we'll have together. Because, you know, I don't want it to be just there. A lot of people are starting podcasts just because. But if we're not passionate about it, then it's not going to stick. So yeah. I want her to, to, to see how beautiful it is to vlog. Um, yeah. Even if it's short vlogs, she can do it. Steph Martin Allen Official, you said, One piece of advice for young dancers starting their career after the pandemic. If you're not in L.A., I think after the pandemic is actually an easier time to start. Everything has basically turned virtual. So what I would say is study all of your favorite dancers, all your favorite choreography online, learn it all, teach yourself, practice it, video yourself, and don't video yourself just one day and leave it. 
do it again the next day and try to get better every single time because right now you're your only critic and so if you, there's no classes available where you're at you always have home classes there's a lot of online classes you can pay for yes. as well or you can just learn the dances from your phone that's like the special part about having our phone is mm -hmm. we have so much information and so many things at our fingertips and if you're want to move to LA if that's something you can do save up for it go over there have a goal in mind know which choreographer you want to dance for or with so let's say you want to dance for Doja Cat figure out who her, her choreographer is get in that person's class and get in front of their face as much as you can because right now we're kind of living in a a time where there's not as many physical in-person auditions for these tours it's all booked from people that they've seen come to class or they'll send you the invite from just taking their class um i'm personally not somebody who's booking for any tours so don't ask me to book you because i i can't <laughs> When you dance, that's Brazil not you that building. time. Yeah, I feel like when I dance, I am like a different part of me. I'm much cooler and sillier and dorkier in person. But when I dance, Jade comes out. That's what I call her. That's her um, ego. And she doesn't give a fuck. She thinks she's the hottest bitch. She dances like she's the hottest she bitch. The hottest bitch. <laughs> but I just really like embrace it. I there's no there's nothing holding me back when I dance. And when I'm in videos, it's just a time for me to release any emotion that I'm feeling. Um, that's a special thing about being a dancer and that being our art form. We're not always the best with our words. So where we can release all these emotions is through movement. And that's so powerful because people who don't even speak the same language can understand you or feel that. So that's why I'm just, you know, so in it when I dance. <laughs> My mom didn't push me into dance. She actually gave me options. I wanted to do gymnastics and dance at a young age, so she let me choose between the two. I chose, I think I actually chose gymnastics, but she's like, girl, that's way too expensive and way more boring. So I was like, okay, let's dance. Hmm. But she just pushed me to be the best at whatever I chose to do. And that's kind of what my family did in general is if you're gonna do something, be the best you can be at it. Uh, reason I don't tour. Um, I personally, I, I started out really wanting that in my dance career, but I think my dream just kind of evolved and broadened um, into something more. I feel like I have more to give than dancing behind somebody. I feel like my dance can do more. So it's just personally not a choice I would, I wanted to do. Um, it's still a great option. It's, it's still the most professional option in dance and it's super hard to do and there's no hate on that. It's just not particularly what i want to do yes and also uh understand as well guys like you could do you could do everything you can be an actor you could be a dancer um and yes while being a dancer the one thing you automatically hope for to get on tour and to to make money that way but you can also make money out through social media just build up your following and you can dance for people's other uh, dance for people's songs you can dance in music videos um, you could do smaller gigs that don't necessarily take you away for six months at a time. You can still be booked and blessed in a lot of other ways as a dancer. So, um, just work hard, stick to, stick to training. Oh, you yeah. like my hair? Thank you. I, that means a lot. I think that if there's anything I'm like not as I secure with, I'm totally love my hair. It's not that, but it would be the thing that I would want thicker or longer. So I always appreciate when people give me hair compliments. <laughs> Thanks girl. <laughs> I don't have any hair tips, though. I'm kind of like a naturalist. Even when it comes to, like, makeup, skin things, water and me are best friends. Um, Somebody also asked if my dad was harder on me. My dad was probably harder on my brothers and my mom harder on me. Um, My dad is a man of few words. Not like we don't talk a lot, but if he needs to tell me something, he tells me at once. And it just then puts it on me to be able to kind of decipher how I want to go about what he's given me he's just the best he's so cool he's always been super supportive I'm very 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 blessed to have family that always believed in me and my dreams so they they are if they were hard on me it was for the best thing it wasn't like crazy hard where it screwed me up <laughs> can I lift you I can lift you mm. I'm not gonna do it yeah I can I could pick you up but in what way yeah like pick you up I can't like lift you into a lift but oh, i can okay. pick you up yeah <laughs> where did we both grow up 
Chicago. Chi Town. Chi Town. I grew up in Park City, Utah. Very, very big opposites in that. He grew up kind of in the hood, and I grew up in the mountains being a hippie fairy child. So. No, but it's, it's perfect like that. Yeah. Like Romeo and Juliet. Yes. With Capulet. And it's, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I would suggest someone asked if I've ever uh, taken ballet classes. I did ballet primarily up until like 18. I went to a performing arts school for a couple years in high school, and I had ballet for four hours every morning. So I would say it's very, 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 very important. Somebody asked about our first kiss. First kiss was on set, uh, season one. Yeah, but like our first kiss as people. Oh, yeah, well, that was season three offset. But the first official, official kiss, no, that was on set. Yeah, but Davis our first and kiss as people was in our um, Airbnb, not Airbnb, the house that we were renting season three. Mm, that's where it all started. Yes. <laughs> I held his hand. I made the first move, guys. You'd be proud because I am not that girl. Hmm. Hey, big fan from America's Got Talent. X Factor, but same thing, oh. same thing. I appreciate you. Well, because Simon is on yeah, that, too. Yeah, he is. I, so I, I always confuse it, too. too. I'm like, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, he killed that shit. Step Up should come back, but if it does, I it don't needs think it would to be, be different than yeah, the last it, season. It's, it's, it needs to get back to its roots, back to how it started, and be about dance, be not about dance. music and drugs. Yeah, yeah. Just saying. Yeah, and the, the entire cast is amazing. Yes, um, we, we wanted it to work. Believe us, we did not want it to get canceled. But um, yeah, they said first kisses, people. <laughs> yes. Self love will come back, but just just gotta get my life together first. Ah, <laughs> next is what up? Hey, if I could be movie. in it, that'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, they should do it about his character from the movie and like how he got there or his first um escape room because be essentially the movie that he was in is all the i'm not gonna give anything away but all the people that are in that had been survivors of an escape room previously so yes. then now it's the survivals tournament yes. tournament of champions yeah the tournament of champions is what it's called too uh but they should do, do the movie about what his was and i should be in it and I hear it's on Netflix. I just don't know what country it's on in Netflix. I, I, it might be America, but we haven't been in, this, in, in the States for like... Destina! Destina, come. Come, come to, to Costa Rica. Costa Rica, girl. Please. Can you? Please. It's not going to be the same without you. No, I, I was love literally, you so much. And it was so funny, right? As, as right before, literally two right seconds before she started the live. Right she, she started no, the started live? It. Oh, you yeah. had started it. Yeah. Okay. I was like, hey, is Destina going to come? Because you haven't said anything about it. So please, love. Please, please, please. Please. Please come. And you know the payment plan thing. You could pay it off in a year and a half yeah. or a year. So just, just put just the deposit you. down and just come with us because, damn, September is like in, in three months. What's the secret for a relationship to be long? I would say personally is being friends with your person because as much lust and love can happen or physical attraction or all the other things that are a part of a relationship if you're not good friends with your person, you don't want to spend all day with them. And being friends and like lovers and partners in that way has just made it so easy because he's the person I want to hang out with every single day, you know? So it makes it so easy. I would say that's one. Two, I would say it's 100 100. Mm -hmm. So never get too comfortable, never settle, never be comfortable in your relationship where you think you can start acting sassy and do all that because. Ultimately, whatever you want in the relationship, your partner does too. So if you want to be heard, if you want to feel seen and comfortable and be able to have vulnerability in your relationship, you have to give that to your partner too. It's 100-100. Whatever you are wanting back, you need to give first. And I'm a firm believer in that. When it's 100-100, you're never... It's not 50-50. You're not wondering who's giving more. And the days that you have off, the other person might give 110 and you're only at 90. And that's okay. But just to always keep trying and know that you're here to grow together. You're not, you're always going to change. Life is, you're forever changing. So don't fear that. You grow together. You cheer each other on and you become your guys' like, best supporters, I would say. Absolutely. Um, do we fight? Uh, not really. Not really. I'm going to be completely honest, like, do we have 
disagreements sometimes yeah but it's more like we talk about it and we're talking about it just so that we can have a conversation and if there is anything we're feeling we always bring it up and i think that's a very special thing yeah and i think we both didn't have that in any other relationship where you feel comfortable to talk about something uh but we always bring everything up so if it's something that we're feeling uncomfortable about or like hey i just didn't appreciate this or this or this or the reason i'm acting like this is because of this you can actually make a change or grow together or understand what that person's going through more. Sorry, I cut you off. It's you're, okay, baby. You're good. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm sorry. No, 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 it's okay. Um, I think, I yeah, the, from what I can remember, the only time that we do kind of get an, uh, annoyed with each other is when we know we're not going to be seeing each other for a while. Yeah. Like, when she's so... going to be flying out, and then I find yeah. out, like, she, she'll be like, I'm going to be gone for a week, and then she'll hit me, like, the day as she's leaving, and be like, I'm going to be gone for two weeks, and I'll be like, but, yo, you told me a week, or she'll get mad at me for being gone for too long, and that's the only time, is because we just, we just want to be together. We just want to be together all the time. I don't, I don't know what outfit that is, I'm sorry. Thank you, Michelle, for all the love and support. What's my pet's name? Well, we have three together. Um, when I came into the relationship, I had Moki, which is our chocolate golden doodle. He had Bambino, which is our American golden retriever. No, English. English golden retriever. English golden retriever, which is like the whiter color. The colored. white one, yeah. Um, and then we have our mutt baby that we don't know, even know exactly what, what she, she is, is because she just showed up on our doorstep. And we live in the middle of nowhere. She literally, I came home. And I'm like, babe, there's a dog on our porch. And she was like five months old. She came to us. She found us. And so now we're her people. Um, but her name is JC. We, uh, the house that he bought um, is in Georgia. And the reason why he bought this specific house is because there were two dogs left in the backyard on chains. And it was like a commercial, you guys, where you see their ribs, their their fur is falling off they're bleeding their eyes are gummy and closed up and so it was a part of his his contract with the house that we get to keep the dogs unfortunately one of them passed away before we got the house but we got to give the girl dog the best life we could for the year and some change that we had her her name was cj so it's carlito and jade anyways Mm -hmm. so we always were like we wonder what she would have been like when she was a puppy unfortunately we had to put her down because she's she was old and she had heartworms and it, it was killing her, so we had to put her down. She had a really good year with us, and she's Three buried in, in on a property because she is the heart of the home. Yes. But we always wondered what it would be like if she we knew her as a puppy, and then, like, a week later, this puppy shows up on our doorstep with the same exact spirit and sassiness yep. and personality that she had. So we just flipped her name backwards, so it's JC. Her name's JC, yes. I know dogs are amazing. I love dogs. I grew up with dogs, so yeah. Uh, I never was like dancing specifically with royal family, but I did jobs with them, if that makes sense. So I was never on royal family, but anytime I'm free and Paris wants me to be on a job, I'm there. So that's when I get to do that type of thing. I have no sisters, only two older brothers. Please, uh. Oh, oh yeah, Farrah Nicole, uh, Farrah Nicole, she's danced, Nicola, she's danced to some of our stuff. Yeah? Uh, well, and like the challenges and uh, stuff I'm well. sorry I didn't uh, get to um, teach while I was out here. It's just I needed, I needed to calm down. I just came from teaching like 16 classes. We may so, be back in November, though. We might be back in November, so I'll set up a performance uh, while I'm out here, and then she can uh, do a dance class, and we can all, we can all hang out, absolutely. Carlos, we need to see more of the donkey. Yes, well, there's some new donkeys there now. Our neighbor, I think he gave Paco to one of his friends because they were in need of because a... Because also Paco was bullying all the other animals. Yeah. He loved us, but he, he, loved was, us. he was an ass, he was quite very, literally. Yeah, he was very <laughs> territorial. And, and, and he would chase he would, the cows and bite them. And he, even, them. Uh, he even had a, a baby, a and baby he, donkey, right? And he with killed, the girl. He killed the, he killed the baby. So he... We yeah, love he's very Paco, territorial. But he he um, couldn't be around babies, and right now uh, our neighbors have a lot of expecting cow mothers. Yes. So there are baby cows being born left and right, and 
Uh, if you have like a very territorial donkey, they will not know that it's a part of basically their pack and they can kill him sometimes. So you had to get rid of him. Yeah. But he's at a different house, happy and healthy. So Yes, yes. How do I memorize so much choreography quickly? It's muscle all of, it's muscle memory. Muscle it's just memory. like with acting, memorizing a script or things like that. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. And you just have to keep pushing yourself and try to learn more and more each class. Sometimes I still mess up. I forget. I get, you know, in my head or like randomly the choreography leaves my head and I mess up. But that's just life and it's normal. So just know that if you keep practicing, anything is possible. Mm. Let's see these. Ooh, these are questions from people that have... Well, you gotta click on it. Oh. Um, uh, if you want them to see what you're looking at. Or what question you're mm -hmm. answering. I don't wanna do that. Okay. Yeah, I was just in Europe. We were just in Europe. Oh, and we would love to be in a movie together. The goal is that we become like... Uh, the people that we were just watching, Adam Sandler and... Um, just go with it. Yeah. Yeah, uh... Mm, the girl from Friends. Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. So the goal that. is to be like Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler, where we just always are casted yeah. together yes. as the couple. Because the we'll actually, but we'll actually be real in life too. So yes. we'll bring out the best in each other <laughs> in movies. Hopefully we get to that soon, because if not, we're going to have to write scripts on our Ooh. own. Also, to make it both happen. of us in the 100, I've seen that show, a couple episodes of it, and it's good, but it's a little overacty, but we would kill that shit. It's basically like, they Which send, one? it's called the 100, they send 100 kids from a clan to like, basically an uninhabited earth. They're basically on different parts of the earth, and they crash in this area, and they it's all the survive. Yeah, it's, it's the, the washer. Yes, the washer, sorry. Noise. But yes, I'm listening. But yeah, that's it. Hmm, Okay. What is that noise? <laughs> I don't know the question. Keep dancing and yeah, congratulations dancing. on your baby. Yeah. And uh, yes, it, no matter where you are, you have, regardless of what country you are or what small city you are, if there's not enough classes, please do online classes. And all of these things you can do for free. As long as you're amazing, it doesn't matter when you get to L.A. Yeah, or New York or whatever. Cold. It was the loudest I've it's ever been. It's never been that damn loud. Um, but yes, just keep training. Keep training. Because it makes no difference if you're like a beginning dancer and you flew down to L.A. And you're there for an entire week taking intensive classes. But you were never able to finish any of those classes because it's so intense. And all you picked up was like an eight count and you had to stand to the back. And you weren't able to really like process it all. It makes no no difference. Train first at home. Do private classes at home if you need to. Online classes. Take whatever classes you have over there as well. And then from there, you can get to uh, you can get to the other stuff. Um. Somebody said Brittany can still dance. <laughs> she can spin. I feel she so was bad. she was the dancer though. I'm not gonna lie, but this girl's been through a lot. I, I, She's been like, through it. She's got live her life. She's been through. I don't even very, think that's she's her. She's quite though. entertaining. It's even, her. It's her baby. I think that's the biggest lie of all things. People are gonna try to say it's not her. Yeah. I do not finger touch. It would be cool if I did though. You're ah, so welcome. Good. Yes, sending love to Ukraine. Yes. Um, any Overcoming tips on bad, bad injuries. injuries. You yes. gotta take care ice of yourself. Baths. Ice baths. It hurts. It hurts very much, but it's been a proven fact that your body starts to regrow again. And there's a lot of benefits that you can get from it. So make sure you get into the bath, put ice in it, or go and cryotherapy and do, you know, do all that stuff. Eat sea moss. Um, take vitamins yeah, all honestly, the time. Cut out all sugar because you're not going to help yourself your if you're eating. You've got to be able to have a functioning body. And Absolutely. if there's an injury... You really just got to take your time to let it heal because the worst thing is, is people, especially dancers, get antsy. They want to get back in the room. They want to start dancing. I'm to totally guilty of feeling like this and doing that, but you end up hurting yourself more. Mm -hmm. So take it slowly. Injuries happen. I know it's like the worst thing to happen to a dancer because, or even like anybody in sports because you're very physical and you depend on your body, mm -hmm. but it's okay. Take that time. 
Your body's giving you a sign. Take that time to study in different ways. Watch a bunch of videos. Study that. Watch your videos over again and critique yourself. There's so many things you can still do. Yes. Do we eat carbs? Yeah, we eat carbs. Yes. It depends on what diet you're doing. But yes, yeah, we need I mean, carbs. You need it. Yeah. I have. I have pulled my whole thigh muscle. I also have pulled different things in my neck, um, gotten concussions, and bad ankle injuries. But that's, that's it so far. How do, how do we battle with anxiety about health or death? Um, well, anxiety stems from worrying about the future, not being present mm -hmm. in that moment. Anxiety comes from stressing about things that you physically can't change in that moment. So most of the things you can do is just to center yourself, try to bring yourself back to reality, back to the present. Focus on the things that you have in front of you right now. Focus on more positive things. I still suffer from anxiety a lot. I know you do as well. Mm -hmm. And it's very natural. I think it's not talked about. I think we all have anxiety. We all get feelings of depression where we're on highs and lows. And that's just unfortunate part of getting older and, and knowing more and learning more about life. Hey, thanks, Nina, for buying a badge. You're the best. Shout out to Nina.Aberdeen. You're the best. And as uh, a fear of death, the only reason why anybody fears death is the fact that they feel that they haven't done or accomplished everything that they needed to in life. So how do you combat that? By just being happy and do everything you ever wanted to do. Sneak out with your friends, you know, work really hard, uh, you know, uh, make sure you take care of everybody. Tell you love, tell, tell everyone you love them as many times as you can. So when the time does come, you're not worrying that you left some things on the table. And as important as achieving your dreams are, as important as it is to make money and all of these things in this current day in life, it's also not the point of life. It's the not. point of life is to make connections with people, to grow in love and feel a sense of peace again, to kind of feel like a kid again. So know that that should be your real goal. All these other things, of course, we're going to keep doing where we need to make money to survive. We want to accomplish our dreams. But I'm going to tell you, like, even when I focused on thinking, like, when I book a job like this, it's going to make me so happy. I'm just going to be different. And I booked those jobs and things didn't change. So your happiness has to be focused on the right thing, which is actually more realistic things. We have so many distractions, so many things we have to accomplish at this point of life. But if you read the happiest people in the world, the people that live the longest, have very home-based lives they love the people that they're around they get love from the people that you're they're around so if you need a change of environment that's okay mm -hmm. if you need to find people that you will find them you need people it's it's very necessary absolutely uh the best carbs i would say rice is a good carb but veggies you get carbs from that too um if you're trying to like lean out i would just say stay away from white breads white rice uh, pastas, anything like that. Um, of course, it's okay to have that. I wouldn't say you need to completely get it out of your diet. But when I'm really going for like a clean diet, trying to get in good shape, I focus on having a good protein, uh, a bunch of vegetables, and then a small amount of like rice or something like that with it. So it's just about your portion sizes. I would say the most protein and the most veggies and then a little bit of like something on the side. Yes. Where can you find the link to book a tour? If you're talking about Costa Rica, I'm going to be posting the link in my bio right after we're done with this and in my story right after this as well. Yes, yes. What? You started following me because the last ship, that right there makes me so happy because I have so many followers from dance. So somebody who's loved and appreciated my work on a show that had nothing to do with dance, it really means a lot. Um, those are the type of roles that I want to book in the future too, is like action-related, shooting guns, army shows um uh yeah superhero roles yeah 300 was also the reason why i love that but yeah best workout is sex yeah, it, is a good workout. it is no it's the truth you ain't never lie <laughs> just do that five six times a day you'll be good he has bigger biceps by far um do a we drink coffee yeah i love coffee but i probably shouldn't drink it as much <laughs> it's not that great for you 
She's got a cameo, bro. Uh, yeah, for, I have a, a cameo. Can I, can I for, pay you to yeah. FaceTime my girl? So she's got a cameo, which is basically a lot of artists and actors have it. Uh, you just go and look up your favorite dancer, actor, artist, and then you, you write a message a of what message you would like this person to say. And she'll send a personal video uh, to you saying whatever you need to your girl. So uh, check her out on Cameo. Yeah. Download the app. Can we give tips on how to be versatile and dance and keep learning? Um, and not get lost amongst the dance style. So you hold on better. I would say like if there's some a certain style you want to focus on, be the best at it. But for me, I like to take in as much information as I can, and that's completely okay. I'd rather be a good student in everything than a master at one thing. So versatility comes with taking versatile classes. So you can't just be stuck in the same type of class. You got to be training in everything, stretching, working on ballet that holds a lot of strength. Um, and it's the foundation of every dance style. I believe anybody who's trained in ballet are immediately like 10 steps ahead of anybody else starting off in dance just because it teaches you how to use your core, how to be balanced and how to know where your strength comes from, which is all the center of your body. España, saludos. This is my husband. We're not married yet, but he's my husband. Yes. Um, I have an upcoming movie, and he has an upcoming series on Amazon. Yes. Okay. It already has a season one, so if you guys haven't seen Them on Amazon, it's called Them. Them. T-H-E-M. Um, the first season, it's... It's not because he's on it. Like, it truly is an amazing freaking show. And season two is going to be even better because he's going to be in it's it. It's a horror show. Yeah, it's like... It's, it's like scarier than American horror story. But also the shots, the directing, like everything insane. is insanity. So Comes out next year, 2024. Yes. So it was he, supposed to come out this year, but they pushed it yeah, back a little bit. Everything's being pushed back. But yeah, so he has that show coming out on Amazon. And then I just filmed a feature film. It's a scary movie. Uh, yeah, it's called Scared to Death. I don't know when it's coming out, but it, I will let you know when it is. It's dope. And then hopefully we will book more. RM Bakers, I'm proud of y'all's success. Thank you so Thank much, you. sweetheart. I appreciate really it. really appreciate it. We're yeah. fighting and we're here with everybody. Like, some people think we're already made it or, Not yet. you know, we're, like, I appreciate people looking up to us. It's an honor, but we're still grinding and trying to make our dreams a reality. So Absolutely. that really means a lot when yes. people tell us that. We can't see every comment. I'm sorry. We're going as, as much as we can. Abs, um, I would say it's all a part of diet. I'm being completely honest. Like People think doing sit-ups is going to get you abs, but it's like your stomach is diet-based. It's so. basically this. Every single person has abs. Every single person. Yeah, a skinny person and a person that's much heavier. It's just it's underneath the fat. So if you need to lean out, then you'll, your abs will come. But if you're a little bit more on the, on the bigger side, it's, it's just that you're not going to see it. You may be able to lift and you'll see the muscles in your arms super easy in your legs. But when it comes to the stomach, it's just you need to burn more fat. So that's why all skinny people are like, man, you were born with a six pack. No, it's just because they're super yeah, skinny. And honestly, Everyone has a six pack. It's just underneath the fat. Biggest thing to get a like, defined stomach is your drinks. Oh, I yeah. basically only drink water. Like I'm being serious. It's my yeah. choice to drink for everything. Cut out soda. And that horrible really for you. unless you're drinking alcohol at night. Detoxifies it's, it's your stomach. Um somebody also asked, is it too late to start taking ballet classes at twenty nine? Absolutely it's never not. Too late. For literally it's a thing. For everything, it's never too late to start. Period. It's how you apply yourself. Of course it might be harder at a certain age, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. If anything, you're more knowledgeable of your body and how it works, so it's gonna be easier to understand certain things that they're saying. Because when I was younger, I had no idea what they meant by use your inner thigh. Now that I'm older and I know the difference, I know what it means. Yes, and like I and, and I tell this all the time, back in the day, in the times of Jesus, people lived to like 35 years old, 40. That yeah, was so it. it's never the too late. The life expectancy back time. then, it is never too late whatsoever. You are completely fine. It's just a mental thing. You're going to be in pain when you start taking ballet. You're going to suck at the beginning when you're going to take ballet. And that's fine. You're supposed to suck in the beginning. And then you go through it, watch everyone else quit, and you stick to it. And then boom, there you go. Wow, 30-year-old doing ballet. You're going to yeah. be great. 
Uh, he is teaching me Spanish in the meantime. Yes. Um, but we salsa dance our lives away, and mm -hmm. we always do that everywhere we go. So even when we're in hip hop clubs, we be salsa dancing. So that's how we pay homage. Yes. <laughs> um, also, Kevin Shadra twenty four. I'm sorry, I just messed that up. Shadri. Sh Shadri. Um, thank you so much for your support and. It means the world that you think that I've gotten better. That's all I want to do. I don't ever want to max out at any age. So I just want to keep, you know, becoming an even better and better, better dancer. Even if that's not the only thing I'm focusing on. Because I'm focusing on my life, love, acting, and dance. All in one. Yes, I would consider bringing Self Love Sundays back. I feel like you guys want them. They'd love them. I told you. Mm -hmm. We're just scrolling through, guys. Uh, I don't take pre-workout. I believe in having my own energy. I don't really like to. No, he says you guys are my pre-workout. Oh, you, we gym. are your pre-workout. You hey, thank you thank so you. much. I appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're the best ever. I read that wrong. Sorry. It's okay. Happy early birthday, Edward. 21. 21. 21. Oh, I would love to work with Lily again. Um, we did Girls Just Want to Have Fight, and she is so funny in person. She is just a ball of energy and a good person. Um, and when you meet people who have a bunch of followers in person, uh, even if it's like a famous actor or anything, I will not be a fan anymore if they're not a good person in person. I think that's like number one to me. You're never too cool to be nice to somebody. And you've never accomplished too much to think you're better than somebody. We're all just people and we all have different gifts. If we get limelight for our gifts, that's amazing. But it doesn't mean they're any better than you or me Absolutely. or anybody else. We all look the same when our skeletons are next to each other. And when we die, we don't get to take our accolades with us. We're just people and how we treated other people is what we get to take with us. Exactly. You want to see real life? Look at the tombs of all these like mummies back in the day that they were so rich. Like, no, there's skeletons. We're all skeletons by the end of the day, regardless of how rich you are, how talented you are. So might as well use this time here to do some good with it while having fun at the same time. Alicia Quinn, um, thank you so much. I'm honored that you wanted to start dancing because of me. And that's exactly why I dance is to inspire people, to show them that it's possible. Um, of course, nobody's born just like great. Like I'm being for real. Like you might think, oh, you've always been good. But I started dancing when I was two. Only one person. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> I started dancing when I was two. So even if it's what I was destined to do, I, I believe that's what I've been destined to do. I put in the work and the effort and everything. So to know that I can inspire other people to do the same, that's, that's why I dance, is to make people feel something. It's not just for me. I like to inspire people through movement. So that's awesome. I've been dancing since I was two, so what, 23, 22 years? How long have you been dancing, babe? Um, I was freestyling in high school, uh, but I, professionally, how it started for me, I was 17 years old. I used to be in a, in a group, in a, in a boy band. It was my first record deal. Uh, I was signed to Sony Epic Records, and it was a group called Menudo, and... We were just thrown into the wolves and had to learn how to do choreography for an entire hour and sing live at the same time. So from there uh, is when it started and then, you know, taking class afterwards, very minimal. And coincidentally, a lot of the acting jobs that I book, I have to dance in. I've been on three different series where I have to dance and it's just one of those things. But um, I, like to, I like to know that my range is big, that I can dance and sing in a job. I can do some horror. I can do some comedy. I can do, you know, roles that matter, roles that talk about um, being undocumented. There's a bunch of things that I, that I like to like to do. Basically, if I can audition for it, I'm gonna kill that shit. Yeah. Uh, someone said, when are we seeing Odalie and Davis again? If they do a spinoff of the series about us, yes. that's when that's when you'll get us. Yes. Because I feel like we could carry that shit. Absolutely. I not that we everyone killed it on the show. But I think we would have a cool little spinoff. I, it would be, you know, it would make it would sense story-wise. Story, love, all that. Yeah. Um, I've taught two heels classes now. Um, I would say that sensuality is different than sexuality. Um, I've learned even more now that I'm older, but 
for me, dancing sexy is for other people. Dancing sensual is for yourself. Mm-hmm. You, to feel like a woman and embrace that and love that about yourself is very powerful. And even for a man, if that's what you're, the type of style mm-hmm. that you're wanting to do too. It's, there's something very empowering about owning what you put out. And I think there's classy ways to do it. I'm not saying that other ways are wrong. But for me personally, I think... I just don't like to touch the kitty cat or the boobs as much um, just because I feel like that's a sacred spot. But like owning that and and feeling strong and confident in what you you're dancing like, what you look like, what you feel like. It's a beautiful and strong way to try that for yourself, even if it's dancing at home by yourself, putting on a heel and just feeling like you are the bad bitch or bad dude that you are. It, it's It's empowering. So I would say tips is to focus on lines and lifting up uh, lines and having your shoulders back and being in the center of your body is like the first thing you need to dance in heels otherwise you fall and it's all in the face too if you're yeah. thinking about your next move the reason why most times when you see these heels classes and everyone's going crazy the girl is barely moving if anything because the fo- you can't you there's only so much you can do in heels but if you focus on what she does she's so minimal and she's just all about as if she's dancing for me, of course, through the camera, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, there's you're not gonna look, you're not gonna look better if you're just grabbing yourself and trying to be over sexual when you don't even have your game face on. Um, you make it sexy, not the dance. Someone says, "Was it love at first sight, or did it build up over time?" It was love at first sight. He knew it more than I did at first, mm-hmm. but I immediately loved him, and that doesn't. I think there's just a misinterpretation of when you're not ready to basically I didn't love myself enough to recognize love in its purest form and I loved myself don't get me wrong but when you're not doing the work of actually giving yourself what you need you pass by things that might have more more to it basically I didn't know that he liked me that way anyways so I never allowed my thoughts to drift in an inappropriate way because I valued his friendship so much but I was drawn to him since the moment I met him. He was the only person, I followed him around like a puppy dog on set, and I just wanted to be around him as much as I could to the point where I annoyed the shit out of him, (laughs) like a lot, because I talk a lot, and I'm just, I'm a ball of energy, I'm a lot. A lot of people are like, ooh, you know, you're probably so lucky to be with her, but I'm a lot. I'm a good a lot, but I'm a lot, and yeah, I think it was for me, but knowing that that's how he felt, really took a turn for me and kind of opened my eyes to like answering a lot of the questions of like does he like me like that or I always thought he thought I was too young for him so I was just little sister in a way I I have two older brothers I know what that's like to be like okay sit down young one and I'm like oh okay I'm the little sis you know but I just didn't know that he loved me like that but once I did I was ready and I took my shot because he was waiting for me to be ready I know spinoff is needed. Thank you, P. Dundev, for buying a badge. You the freaking one. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy B. I would love to come to London sometime soon. Basically, how it works is when uh, a studio owner or somebody hits me up at the the email in my bio, um, they set up classes, and that's how I, I come out and teach. Yeah, my jawline could cut a diamond. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we would love to come to Morocco. That's another That'd one on my amazing. list. Who made the first move? It was me. So basically, I had what to, it was. Though, because basically, I, it what was this my was turn. when I first met her on season one. It, to me, I, it was like love at first sight for me, and I just was drawn to her, and I knew that she was something special. But at the same time, I knew, one, I'm not going to cross the line because we got to be professional. We got to be super cool with each other. We got to work together and I'm not going to make it awkward for her. And as I started becoming closer with her, she started telling me stories about guys who were friends with her that crossed the line and made it awkward for her. And she did not want to hang around them anymore. So I thought to myself, she's never going to have to worry about that with me because I'm never going to flirt with her. I'm never going to make her feel uncomfortable. Pause for a good cause. And the reason I say that is because a lot of guys come into your life with an agenda. 
And if that agenda doesn't go to their plan, they discard all the friendship that you had for them. So I had a lot of people that, you know, that I was homies with, and then they would say, hey, I like you this way. And then the minute I'm like, hey, that's not how I feel, they're out. So that's why I said it. It wasn't because I was trying to scare you away. And, you know, also, you know, look at her. She's beautiful. Everybody wants to be with her. And I never wanted to make her feel like, yo, no, I'm, I'm not going to. I wanted her to feel safe. And so I took that idea and I threw it out of my head. Also, at the same time, she wasn't focused on anything else. So I left it, I let it be. And as the years went on, we just grew as friends, as homies, uh, nothing more. And then season three happened and I wasn't there anymore. And I wasn't really on the page of pursuing anybody. And she saw that. And then that's when she started pursuing me. Because in my mind, I was like, no, we're just friends, you know? And to little, little big, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she said, seeing you guys happy makes me happy because I'm always feeling shitty. So thank you for the genuineness that you give each other. Thanks. That honestly is what we're here for. And every time I teach a class, even though my gift is dance, I don't leave that as the message when I leave class. My biggest message that I say to everybody is life is about love. Uh, I had somebody who's very spiritually gifted, um, not just in like religion, but just spirituality and like has gifts of seeing things and being able to communicate with higher purpose things, basically astral projecting and all this stuff that I have no idea about. But she had a vision basically where she saw God and uh, whether you believe in it or not, she asked him, what is the point of life? And he said, you guys already have the answer. Love and thus experience love. Everyone thinks that there's something special that you have to do to be able to, you know, return to heaven or be considered a good person. But it's all about love. And it's not easy. Love isn't just, it is something that we naturally have, but it's also a choice. So we choose to put love into ourselves, into each other, and into every person that we come across. Because... If we all focused on that as a collective, our planet would be so much better for it. We would be happier. We would be more supported. And even in our journeys on during business adventures or accomplishing our dreams, we'd be lifted by our community and there would be so much more light in this world. So don't worry, girl. Some We all feel shitty, but there's going to be people. If you feel it from us, that's it's an honor. But there's also so many people around you. You just need to find them. And you also need to build yourself up so that your cup is full from yourself first. And then you can give love to others and receive love from those people that are going to be there for you. Yes. Um, and you're going to have your persons out there too. Yes. So never give up on that. Just keep working on yourself and being the best person you can be. Like literally, that's all I want for myself. Like every day, I just want to be better. I want to look back next year and be like, I feel like I'm in a better headspace and that doesn't mean like on paper I'm better it means like who I am do I understand myself more am I more kind to others myself have I worked past those little triggers that I have in certain conversations and that's all we can do is just become better people yes yes and also realize like love ah, it's 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 crazy because I've I've had a lot of people that have found love and not realized that it was real love and they Someone let said it. Hello, bad bunny. Sorry. I've seen a couple of those. Yeah, I get that all the time. I'm trying to have that bad <laughs> bunny the money. He's sexier bad bunny though. Oof. <laughs> He's my Mexican. Yes. Bought a badge. Hey, Joanne, so lovable. Thank you for buying a badge. But yes, love is a choice, and when yes. you experience it and you focus on it, it becomes the theme of your life. And I guess because I'm a guy, guys were different. Like, we don't wake up in the morning saying, I hope I find the person I'm supposed to be with for the rest of my life. That's far-fetched to us. We think, what well, I'm talking about guys, I'm not talking about girls. Um, we don't think, oh man, I hope I fall in love today, or oh, I can't wait to get married. I know a lot of girls, when they're kids, they wake up and they think about their marriage yeah, and the dress that they're going to wear. But guys, yeah. we don't think like that. Honestly, we don't think like that. We try to just be happy. For the ones that are at least woke and know that they just want to be happy, that's the one thing we want. And then when you find somebody that actually makes you better than anyone else, mind you, men, we're a little bit different. There, You will find men that are a little bit more 
promiscuous and kind of uh, want to just have fun and be with a bunch of other people. But the reason for that is because I haven't found that one girl that may, puts all those other girls to shame. Sometimes it's hard to convince a man that I'm good for you, but the right one, you're not going to need to convince him. You're just going to have to be in the, in the situation to where... I don't know, you both realize that you both are compatible. You shouldn't have to fight so hard to be happy because that's not what it's and supposed ladies, to be. And ladies, we're in this big, like, fuck men phase. And that's, like, not the right message to be sending in general. Are there shitty people everywhere, both men and women? Yes. Are there people that are going to hurt you and do you wrong in every gender? Yes. But if you say fuck men, that only gives them, like, nothing to go off of. It takes away all the romanticism it doesn't make any man want to fight for you or treat you right so be a good person know how you want to be treated and this whole standard of like uh the man's supposed to do everything the man's supposed to give love the man's supposed to be the comforter he's supposed to be the one who buys every meal fuck that first of all if you want to be an independent woman in this new way of life you got to bring something to the table too and that's not relying on somebody to buy all your shit if that's your scenario and you guys love each other awesome but no, like, you gotta put in that work, get him some meals, surprise him with flowers every once in a while, take him on dates, give him love, know him, study your man, like, the way you want to be studied, know the things that make him tick, know how, what triggers him in life, know how to be the calm to his storm, know how to be the safe place for, so he can be strong in every other aspect. It's the same thing we want, and I think, like, I don't think this is the big problem with everybody, but I do think we live in a world where girls are complacent in relationships and they're like why don't I have the man that I want why am I always getting walked over in my relationships why can't I keep the person because ultimately you aren't up to par and that that can go for men or women but I'm just talking to girls right now work on yourself be the type of person you would want to date mm -hmm. ultimately like if you don't want to deal with sass or somebody telling you off why would you do that Mm -hmm. You know, take a good look in the mirror. And when you're the woman that you want to be, that's the type of man you will attract. So if you're attracting bad men, one, your standards are either too low or two, that's the type of energy you're putting out. So when we focus, like, literally focus on yourself and try to be the best person you can, the best girlfriend you can. Don't be a shit talker. Don't be dramatic. Keep our, our emotions in check. We have a lot of hormones. I get it. I know how easy it is to want to be sassy and, like, not want to see anybody but when it comes to your partner you got to overcome that and you got to treat them and at least inform them what you're going through like hey babe like i've don't worry because i think it's late oh we're late but it's okay i like to see everybody we try to stay busy as we can but um this past year we've had a lot of time to be at home and make music or make choreography so yay Got my complexion from my daddy. Mm -hmm. My dad is a randomly really tan white boy. And he got his beautiful complexion from his heritage. Gonna give us good babies. Just scroll all the way down, baby. So okay, I'm just gonna scroll all the way down because I'm so behind. Yeah. I'm sorry we 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 uh are virgin stuff. Um, boy, I ain't no, no virgin. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> You could see the shit that we be doing. Sometimes I have the people be going check. Virgin shit? No. We have the best, this is the TMI, the best, nastiest love in the world. And that's because I act like a good person on the outside. I get that shit in the bedroom because I put work in to be a good person. And that ain't no virgin shit. That's called being a good person. So if you're above that, you're never going to find the right person. You're going to be stuck with some trash like the way that you're acting. I have an sorry. attitude, sorry. I love it. I love your attitude. It's really hard not to come for people when I get come for. Yeah. Japan was so amazing. I'm going to take you one day. Don't worry, baby. It's okay, baby. But it was so amazing. Jager and I got to go on hikes, see a bunch of temples, see a lot of the places that we see in anime. Uh, it was really, really cool. Hey, Beauty X Poison, you bought a badge, you a freaking real one. Thank you. What was our first date when we started dating, baby? Um, our first date, we I took her to a, a beautiful dinner, and there was a, mm, a, a yeah. belly dancer there. I wanted yeah. to take her to, like, a dinner and a show, 
and we had a beautiful beautiful time and then oh our first date first date date we went to dave and busters yeah and we have um the little pictures from the photo machine and we didn't realize that the photo machine like displays the pictures For taken a, in the in the in photo there. booth so everyone sees them and we were like doing licking some, each other's faces and stuff and then we got out shit. and everybody was like we came out, there was like children and stuff looking at the top. I'm yeah. like, oh my God. I'm not trying to hide the screen. Yeah, there's just two run. Screens. But there's two screens. It didn't work. Hey, I'm not hating on being a virgin. I think that's actually great. If I could have, like, I would say, say, stay a virgin until you find your person. Yes, but... until you find your person. <laughs> have I even farted in front of you? That's no, we're not those couples. Couple. We're not, we're those, not couples. those couples that do that. But like, if you do, it's an accident. But like, also, if I it don't... happens by accident, yes. But I, I, I think it's weird for those couples that play just fart like, tag. Like, hey, babe. Nah, it's so funny it's just... though because like I agree, but growing up with my brothers, it is so completely different. Well, siblings doing that—that's different. Yeah. Siblings and yeah, stuff, true, but true. it's it's like, but if you want to keep a person to still be like, yo, I find that person sexy. I'd rather you not fart in front of them on purpose. <laughs> If it happens by accident, it happens by accident, no matter what. This is a great conversation. But damn, are you Come over here just... On, thank you for buying a bed. Farting on pillows and shit and giving pink eyes. Like, that's some... That's, that's... New biggest fear unlocked, Dave and Buster's photo booth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be careful. Be careful, because, yeah, we were doing some freaky-ass shit in there and thinking it's just for the pictures, and then, damn. Exposed. Oh, um, what song did I sing after I threw up on We The Party? That was... Sleeping in my car. Um, it was written by my homie Jimmy Bernie. Um, he's one of the guys I I, I penned uh, that I wrote. Where did you come from? With, but that song is not out. It was just for the movie. Someone said, "Is hot, a hot dog a sandwich?" When I think about it, now that you it said that, is a oh sandwich. my gosh, I'm fucking mind blown. Who but are like, you, I felt Merlin? Like hot what? dogs. Hey, Cresta Jane, thank you for buying a badge. I feel like hot dogs are in its own lane, but like the, when you just ask me if it's a sandwich, it totally is a sandwich. I'm fucking mind blown. That, w that was the best question yet. And a hamburger is a sandwich too. It is, well, obviously. No, but like we Yeah, but a really you don't really think about it. It's like, like a burger. You know, like, do you want a sandwich and then get a burger? You like get a burger. <sighs> like equations are going above my head yeah, right just... now. <laughs> Johnny Y-A-D-R, yes. When are you gonna have a baby? When I decide not to pull out. Basically, they'd be like, it's up to the girl. No, it's up to the man. <laughs> You're going to find out when you find out. <laughs> oh, you should relearn that. Well, which one? Birthday sex. Now I could do it yes, with you. Yes, with me. Yeah. Girl, you know why. Yes. Mm. It's a sandwich's cousin. We got beautiful teeth. Thank you. Champus. Leo never wants to come on the family vacations. It's not because he's not invited. You know what it is? It's just uh, I'm a pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm a quiet person. I, I like, I'm kind of, I'm very mute when I'm around other people, unless I'm like super comfortable. And I feel like family vacations, there's, it's bonding time as it is. And I don't yeah. like to feel like the third wheel when the no, family should be bonding. It's mostly too because like, you know, I have brothers, and we're really freaky, and we just not trying to be making them uncomfortable. Like yeah, that. yeah, and we're, trust me, when we're around our family, we're on our best, best, best behavior. But, but even it's then, still, it's still a lot. Yeah. They're like, they're kissing all the time. They're holding hands all the time. They're on top of each other all the time. And they don't even talk to anybody because they're so together. It's like, he no, basically we just... doesn't come so that he allows me to have good time with my family. To have a family. good time with her family, and that way they don't find it like that she's not spending time with them because she's all over me, you know? Uh, Cresta Jane, that bought a badge. Hey, bitch. Um, you asked if we were approached for a music and dance workshop, would we do it together? Absolutely. Well, absolutely. I honestly propose that to a lot of conventions, but it's just a lot more planning, and then you yeah. need a stage and all yeah. of that. But it is so down. Like, I've even said that's many one thing times I want to do is like teach a, a actual workshop of, yeah. of where okay he you're sings. gonna learn the choreography but you're gonna perform dance it live with him. Artist, yes, and we so do I would teach choreography to, to his songs and everybody would be have a chance to perform it on stage at the very end of like the workshop or whatever. Yes. and then I would have like a little solo moment and dance with him, doing some songs. 
do we, we say ignore, our relationship do we ignore is questions on purpose? Yes, sometimes if it's a stupid if it's, question. Yeah, I mean, like yes. if it's inappropriate But if we don't or see not. it, we don't see it. Yeah, but also yeah. we're just scrolling and it's like yeah, it's, it's mainly I'm like to answer it as questions as that I we can. know everybody would want to hear. You know. Oh, I watched Demon Slayer. Um, I'm not gonna show it yet because I still want to show my mama. Um, but I love it. I'm a big fan. Um, Nezuko is my favorite. And and. I'm not practicing my Spanish on here if I'm too nervous. Namaste. He was in a group called Menudo. 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 Sorry, yes. I said it wrong. Menudo. It was a group previously together, um, back in the day, super popular. They remade it and he was in the revamp. Mm -hmm. Um, basically like immediate kid star fame. And then from there, he was also on X Factor. You got third? Third, came in third. Third X place Factor. on X Factor. And then he's been in commercials, movies, TV series for years now. So that's probably where you've seen him or where he's gotten his popularity. His fame. I do basically everything. I'm he's a to. man of to. multiple It's the year of the talents. hybrids. Um... Nine years old dancer. Hey. Yeah, Krista, hit me up in, in my email and we can see if we can work something out. If that's something you ever decide to plan, we would love to do that. Absolutely. I'm not in LA anymore full time because there's no point. It's um, expensive as fuck over there. Yeah, you're paying so much for a box. Especially after and the lockdown. Things I just love taking class. I do. I love taking class. But, uh, hey, Kaya Amory, Amory, thank you for buying a badge. Um, other than classes, and of course, my few friends that I have over there, and I say few because I love what I do, but it also wasn't my favorite place to grow up. I thought, like, I'm going to be here forever because this is where the opportunity is. But after COVID, everything went virtual, so all my acting auditions are on my phone. I can be anywhere. Like, I literally can be here in Cape Town, doing an audition i just did one i can be anywhere thank you justin goat for buying a badge um yeah. uh yeah i basically just the minute i knew i could leave it felt right and that's why i'm not there anymore now i can go and visit and take classes as i please rather than taking a class and going back to my apartment and feeling alone um it just wasn't really it's not my choice of place to live and right now i have the choice so if it ever feels like we need to be back there to do our work, we will, but as of now, now. Life is better with Beck. You bought two badges. You the you the best. Thank you. Oh yes. Uh Boko Bokor Tisha. Oh, I'm jacking these up. Um it is so huge to have somebody write a song for you. That's why it's so easy for me to dance to his music is mm -hmm. like it was written for me. Like if there's anybody that should dance to it, it is me. Yes. I know online auditions being is the best thing that's happened after COVID. You gives people so many so much freedom and allows people from all over the world to audition for these things. Thank you. Brooke, thank you for buying two badges. You the best. Love you. Love you, love you. Uh, we try to work out at least five times a week, minimum. Yeah. But, like, of course, not every week's the same, but that's the goal. That's the goal. We should work out. We should. It's it's going to keep you healthy, honestly. And that um, keeps you looking and good. And if you fall behind, that's okay. You fall behind. I ask this question all the time. It's like, um, how far behind are you from the person that you were when you were in high school? And a lot of people say, oh, man, I'm so far behind. I've had two kids or uh, work just, you know, was, was just too much and I wasn't able to get back on track, you can still do it. All it takes is just fine tuning. Get get to the gym. If you got an hour each day, do it. We live in Georgia right now. We've got acreage over there, basically a farm with a lake and it is beautiful. It's a dream home. So that's where we're living right now. Yes. Our next place we want to buy is in Costa Rica. Where are we now? We're in Cape Town, South Africa. Yes, we need tomorrow.
I see Sean every once in a while. I unfortunately haven't seen Casey in a long, long time, but I would love to see them. Thanks, I like my green shirt too. Justin, congrats for you, buddy, dancing for the Celtics. Yeah, man, that's, that's awesome. That's amazing, bro. Yes, congrats. that's keep, huge. Keep, keep hustling, man. Yeah, keep shining. You deserve it. Don't worry about collabs yet. You'll be all right. Just keep doing some great stuff for you where you're at, and then you, you got it. You got it. I would love to collab with Sean or Casey. We almost did a, a uh, Casey and I almost did a video together while we were out. I was out there last time, but uh, it just didn't work out. Princess vid. I know we need to tell, uh, we need to tell him that we need to do another pre a princess remake. I was Belle in a, in a video. Oh yeah? Yeah. Um, yes. Coachella I'm was so fun. It was amazing. But it was hot as shit. We, we camped, and you get woken up at, like, 7 in the morning by, like, heat stroke. And, and yes. And you're suffering. And yes, so if ladies. you do that, sorry, my get, love sorry, get AC. Off. Yes. And, guys, ladies especially, please work out. No one, I'm not saying ladies for any particular reason. Only reason I say this is because Dude, a lot of women don't have any muscle mass in their body. I'm only saying this because I, I have this 60-day uh, fitness challenge between friends, between friends that we've been doing for two years. Every 60 days, we have to take an in-body test to see our muscle mass, uh, body fat percentage, and weight. It keeps you accountable. It keeps you accountable. But most people, and I'll have a lot of girls that come into the challenge, and you, they'll have, like, no muscle ever in their body. Like, they'll be at zero. And it just goes to show that don't focus on what you're seeing. Oh, I'm, I got uh, love handles, or oh, I'm going to just go for a very, very, very long run, and then I'm going to do some squats to make my butt bigger. That makes no Ultimately, difference. Ultimately, it's oh. about being the best you can be. Like, Absolutely. But, completely. But, like, phys like, physically, but you lift. don't need to be shredded. Yes, like, you it's don't not need to saying, be shredded, like, you can't have body fat. Like, the more you work out, the longer you're going to live. That's just what it is. Of yes. course, there's the opposite. When you work out too much and you're not eating enough, that shortens your lifespan. But, like... The stronger you are, like, all I think is if the world were to end and we're in, like, a survival, basically, hunger game situation where we're all, like, having to fight to survive, let's say all the electricity goes out mm -hmm. or some sort of war happens, I need to be able to live and survive and be strong enough and capable enough to defend myself if or have strength. If you had to go in the jungle and, and go and hunt for your own food, you're gonna die because you can't freaking, you got no damn muscle and a jaguar is gonna take your ass and then drag you down the freaking street. So yo, work out, lift. Don't just run on the treadmill and squats ain't gonna save nobody. Squats ain't gonna save you from squats getting robbed. You gotta do lift. <laughs> um, uh, are we similar to our characters, Odalie and Davis? I think every character that we have, it's not necessarily written similar to us, but the way we play it, there's always a piece of us in every character that, yes. that we play or we do because it helps bring realism to the character, a, a breath of fresh air to the character. So I would say the ways I'm similar to Odalie is she and I both want to be the best at what we do and it's never about um, stepping on other people's toes or being better than somebody else. Of course, Odalie goes about things the complete wrong way. I would say the biggest difference is that I am more confident in who I am as a person than Odalie is. I think Odalie is very lost and hasn't had the same type of love and support throughout her journey that I have had, so that's helped me a lot. Um, and I know who I am, and I know I'm very, very conscious and aware of how my actions affect other people. So I think that's where she... She doesn't realize that, so that would be the biggest difference. What about you for Davis? Um, yes, I had a lot of similarities with Davis, and I think that's that's kind of why I ended up booking the role. Um, I was homeless for a certain point in time, uh, and which helped me to actually figure out what Davis was really going through. Um, but yeah, I think I think my heart was in the right place when I when I auditioned for that role, and I, I had I was very empathetic to that kid because um, I saw myself in him. So yeah. Um, somebody asks if you have to cut out food you love. When you're trying to get in in the great shape, yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, and it also it depends. And on... And also, you shouldn't be eating shitty food every day. Period. But sometimes lot... it's not shitty food. Like it depends on your nationality. Cause like if you if you're Latino or if you're Jamaican or if like man you got good yeah. family good okay. food in that. That's but the it's, point. It's just, but if it's, it's not fattening. healthy for you, then that that's the point. So yes, sometimes you do have to cut it out. You yeah. can't eat it every day. Of course, yeah. if you have it. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. But especially if you're trying to get into shape, you do. You have to focus on putting healthy, clean things into your body. Ultimately, the best way to get in great shape is if it grows out of the ground, eat it. 
And yeah. that's the type of food you should be eating. And you can have cheat meals, mind you. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not over here like, you know. We have cheat meals all the time. Yeah. But also, we're not like doing our hardest work right now. We're on vacation. So we still try to, we're still very aware of what we eat. It's just, you got to be conscious of what you're putting into your body. Food is health. Um, thank you, Justin, for buying another badge. You, thank you. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I th you definitely do. If you're trying to, if it's not good for you, yeah. Absolutely. I love lava cakes, but do I don't eat them all the time. And, and know how to work out too, guys. You know, cause some people are like lift, eat, sleep, repeat. Absolutely. Yeah. No, get your form together too, because you don't want to be these people that have been working out super hard for a month. Everything's going good. And then you pull something in your back and now you're out of, out of commission for six months. You've gained all this weight and now you're back to where you started. So be smart. Okay. So Linz Darcy, you're asking me how to pronounce my last name. Cause you're having an argument about it right now. It's pronounced Shanoff. Like your shin and then off. You basically don't even say the W. When you, off. When you look at it, it looks like it's shin yeah. But no, it's shin off. It's shin off. I was like, yo, then why don't they spell it that way then? <laughs> There's a lot of names like that, though. It's like, it's like, it's hello like Hello to UK, hello to Arizona, K. and hello to China. Shout out before load shedding. I know for real, oh, it yeah. is a problem over here. That oh, is insane. Shit. What time does load shedding start today? I think it starts at fucking ten. Oh my gosh! Good looking out because you just reminded me. It starts at fuck. Oh no 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 no! Uh, I think it got pushed back. So oh, it depends, yeah, on, where it depends on where you are. Yeah, <laughs> where we are, it, there's they got pushed till tomorrow. What is the best piece of direction you ever got on set, acting-wise? Um, the best piece of direction? Yeah, like advice or like something somebody said that really has helped you on a set. <sighs> Give me just two seconds. When you buy a badge, basically it supports me um, and it also lets me see your messages easier. Okay, I got it now. Okay. Um, the camera sees what you don't. So if you don't believe it, the people on the opposite side of the camera are not going to believe it. Because there will be a lot of times where you'll be on set and the director will be like, that's great, that's great. But because they got so much going on, they're not focusing on the details of certain things. They, need, they got a schedule to keep. So just know that if you're, if you're not in the mental state of actually becoming the character, the camera's going to see that. And then you'll, hit, then you'll get these times where you'll watch something and you'll be like, it was a good movie, but I didn't really like this person too much. It just didn't feel it. Those are those moments. So trust yourself so that way the camera can actually pick that up. For me, it was to get out of my head of being perfect. You plan a lot of your lines out and how you want to say them and how you want it to go. And when it goes differently, sometimes you think it goes bad. But a lot of times those have been my best choices because I'm knocked off of my norm. It's not a rehearsed thing. I'm more in it. So when I just focus on being in the character rather than the lines, uh, magic happens for me. At least that's where I feel like I've gotten better. We're friends with all of our cast. And uh, thank you to your mama buying our, my shoes. That's so cool. Burritos or tacos? For me, burritos. If I wasn't a dancer or an actor, what would I love to do? Oh. Anything with animals, um, but not where like I trap them in things or anything like that. I would want to see them in their natural habitats. I don't want to see them in zoos and shit. Makes me sad. I will visit LA a lot, so LA is never, never not a thing. Um, we both are very spiritual. Um, yes. How did I decide I wanted to become an actress? So basically, I went out to L.A. as a dancer. Um, my roommate, Logan Hassel, uh, we were both dancing together, but she started acting before me. And she, her mom was the one who's like, you should go to auditions. At first, I hated it because I sucked at, at studying lines, memorizing them. And it just wasn't natural for me, but I think what really made it something that I wanted to do was I, when I realized the biggest part I love about dance, which is the storytelling, the diving into a character. 
Um, so that's kind of like what evolved my dancing into acting is because I think that's what I've been best at. And in my dance is the story aspect and feeling connected. And I've been obsessed with watching movies my whole life because I've always wanted to be in them basically. So I think it was just meant to be. If we could live anywhere, where would it be? Costa Rica. <laughs> Boom, done. Okay, we've been on this for a long, long time. Uh, last reminder to come to Costa Rica with us. We're hosting a vacation. It's seven days. All Everything's included. You're completely taken care of from the moment you land to the moment you take off. Um, we are with you the entire time other than sleeping. Yes. Um, we go on all the adventures together. We eat together. We talk together. Thank you, Yoshana, for buying a badge. Yoshana Ureus. I suck at all these. But yes, um, I'm going to post the link for you guys to check it out if that's something you want to do. You have until August 1st to come to book your trip. You don't have to pay it all up front. You can set up a payment plan for 6 months, 12 months, or 18 months. So yes. you can spread out your payment. Um, yeah, we just love for people to come. There's 12 more spots. And the more the merrier. Uh, we're even cooler in person. Um, yeah. We'd we're going to have a blast. You. Um, but all the details are online in the bio. And somebody said you made an amazing song. This is Thank Chris. You. Boy, she was, she's on my buggies. Thank you so much, my dear. I appreciate it. Vibe out to it as much as you like. Put it on your workout playlist, uh, romance playlist, whatever you like. Someone said we're in Costa Rica. We start out in San Jose. So you fly in there and then we kind of tour all around Costa Rica and yes. go see different parts. It's one week, an entire week. Yeah. So not no five days. And it's amazing. And, and uh, we're going to put the link in her bio so and on right the story after right after. I end this, I'm going to put it on my next story slide. So if you're interested in coming to Costa Rica with us, it will have all the information there, the price breakdown. Remember, if you don't want to pay it all up front, you have to choose the payment plan. Yes. Um. But yeah. I love you guys. We're going to have a good night. We're going to enjoy each other. Love on each other. Our last night in Cape Town. Maybe go get... Oh, no. Food disclosed. We can go to... Damn it. I know a place. He knows a place. <laughs> uh, but we love you guys. And thank you for chatting with us. Deuces. You guys are the best. Bye-bye, y'all.